How did our glorious family of potato chips come to be? What, lad? You don't know the tale of the potato chip? Oh, listen, me boy. The potato chip was born in the Adirondack Mountains in 1853 at Moon Lake House beside Lake Saratoga was an Indian colleen by the name of Kate, preparing a mulligan stew. And purely by accident now, herself dropped a piece of potato into some hot fat. She spooned it out and gave it to George Crumb, the innkeeper. Ah, Kate, tis a delight fit for the likes of St. Patrick himself. And over a hundred years later, human folk decided that they wanted something for parties and clan get-togethers to go with the new delight. So, the dips were invented. And since that time, chips and dips have become a party institution. And good together they are, too. Now, here are a few delightful recipes we know that you will want to try. One of the easiest and yet most popular of all the chip and dip recipes is the onion dip. To prepare, we add one packet of dehydrated onion soup mix to one package of sour cream. We mix this until the onion flavor is evenly blended through the cream. Be sure and refrigerate this or any other dip until you're ready to use it. One thing more, you better make a double recipe. It seems to disappear almost as fast as the potato chips themselves. Here's a dip with plenty of flavor that goes well with any flavored chip. It's called, appropriately, the teaser. Mix a half cup of finely chopped bologna with three quarters cup of chopped ripe olives. Add to this three tablespoons of chopped sour pickles. And two tablespoons of chopped pimentos. Now we add just enough mayonnaise to moisten. Mix this well and add a few drops of Tabasco sauce and grated cheese to taste. This teaser is a taste treat that will perk up any party or buffet. Here's a party dip for those with a taste for something totally different. A shrimp dip topped with bacon chips. In a blender, we have 10 large cooked shrimp. We're now going to add a quarter cup of mayonnaise. And for tang, three shakes of Tabasco sauce. And one teaspoon of grated onion or onion juice. Add salt and pepper to your own taste. Now we'll blend these ingredients together and add just enough cream to achieve the right consistency. A potato chip or the shrimp never had it so good. Why don't you try one or all of these chip and dip recipes for your next party? Chip, everybody in the whole world loves the potato chips, right? Right you are, the lad. Well, then how in the world can human folk make potato chips out of a wee kettle for everybody in the whole wide universe? Now, oh, where did you get that blarney? Human folk don't make them by the kettle anymore, but by what themselves call ultra-modern production methods. You don't say no. I do. I do. Come on, my boy, and I'll show you. Makushla, where are we? Ah, this, this is where it all begins. The choicest potatoes in all the world are grown in fields like this. There is nothing but potatoes as far as the eye can see. Aye, and these potatoes are grown exclusively for potato chip. These potatoes have what themselves call special cooking properties, which makes them the finest potatoes for crispy potato chips. But enough time here. Let's go see where the real hocus pocus takes place. It is a grand big place, Chip. Glory be what's happening over there. That's the storage area, Dip. When the potatoes are brought in from the fields, they're placed in huge bins like these and stored until they're ready for use. 
Each one of these bins can hold over a thousand pounds of potatoes. Glory be! Can you beat that? Over here, the potatoes are in their first stage of preparation. Each one is automatically washed and cleaned. This is the first of several washes it will receive. The saints preserve us! There's a monster loose! Where? Where? There! <laughs> no, that's, that's no monster. That's the automatic peeler. It gently removes only the skins, retaining all the good vitamins and minerals that make potato chips a valuable food source. I see. And, of course, the entire production is supervised by a razor-sharp inspection team. What do they do? Well, Dip, they look for and discard any potatoes that don't meet the high standards established by the Potato Chip Institute. That's why only the best potatoes go into making potato chips. Oh, glory be! Can you beat that? And over there is the automatic slicer. Revolving blades turning at an incredibly fast speed slice each potato paper thin so that they fry up gold and brown. Look there, Chip. They're being washed again. That's to take out the excess starch dip. That way, they fry crisper, taste better, and are better for you, too. Look how sparkle and clean everything is. So well, everything must be sanitary. When you're dealing with good food, there is no such thing as being too careful. Look over there. There are the potato slices going into the stainless steel cookers. Under carefully controlled conditions, each chip is cooked in batch like these until it is at the peak of its flavor and crispness. Only the highest grade vegetable oils are used to ensure even cooking and complete digestibility. There are those inspectors again. Yes, except these inspectors are checking for any chip that might have been burned in cooking. Only the best chips are ever packed. Are you sure that human folk don't use leprechaun magic? No, only modern American know-how and production techniques. That's right, Chip. Techniques like these, automatic packing and sealing machines, make packaging easy and fast. The potato chips are automatically weighed, packed and sealed completely by machine. Truly a monument to American know-how. And how about the automatic flavor dispensers, which create the new flavored chips? Regular chips are transformed into tempting flavored treats. Flavors like barbecue, green onion, and... Garlic, me favorite flavor. I know, I know. But you're not the only one who likes them, lad. Everyone likes potato chips. And they do good by any meal or occasion. Look here. Here's a meal fit for an Irish king. Broiled steak with barbecue sauce. Potato salad. Relish tray and baked beans with strips of bacon. And topped with crushed barbecue chips. And look. Plenty of onion flavored and regular chips on hand as well. Ah, but here is one that really fits me fancy. A grand buffet. Southern fried chicken with potato chip coating. Tuna or cheese casserole with a savory potato chip crust. And look, rock cornish hens with a garlic chip stuffing. Ah, how I love that. And of course... An ample supply of all the potato chip flavors with creamy dips to catch those appetites before the main course. I like those new flavor chips. Yeah, but for myself, I still like the plain chip best. There's nothing like the company of an old and trusted friend. Twas delightful, Chip. But I didn't know that human folk were so resourceful. I. They can do almost anything a leprechaun can do, if they put their minds to it. Chip, it is a shame that potato chips taste so good. Everything I like seems to do me ill. What? 
Oh, you're dreaming, my lad. That may be true of other food you eat, but not potato chips. You don't say no. Aye, right, let me show you. <laughs> A potato chip is pure energy. 93.3% pure energy. That means that potato chips have more food value than over 2,500 vegetable and vegetable products we normally eat. And chips were found to be better than 1,058 foods out of a possible 1,100 tested. And besides being a quick source of energy, potato chips are easily digestible and help in digesting other foods. And potato chips are a natural source of salt for our bodies. And potato chips are the only cooked vegetable eaten without warming or having to open a can. Aye, potato chips seem to be a good food for everyone. They are. And because potato chips are real food, many housewives use them in their everyday cooking. Look here. Here is a scrumptious entree to tantalize any man's appetite. Chip stuffing and spare ribs. We sauteed one chopped onion, and now we're going to add three cups of cubed bread. To this, we can add one and a half cup of crushed potato chips, and one cup of finely chopped apple. The apple will give it a little spice. Add a half cup of chopped celery, and we're ready to moisten with a cup of milk. Mix this well and salt and pepper to suit your own taste. We have cut the spare ribs into two matching sections. Spread the stuffing on one section and top with the other. Bake in 350 degree oven for two hours. Spare ribs, anyone? Here's a main dish casserole that's quick to fix, but ah, so good. We've already combined sweet potatoes, eggs, and butter. To this, we add one third cup of milk, a teaspoon of salt, and a dash of nutmeg, and of course, one cup of crushed chips. Mix this well and spoon into a greased casserole and bake 25 minutes at 350 degrees. When it reaches your table, step back and watch your hungry gang dig in. Having a cookout? Give charcoal grilled chicken a go. After seasoning and cutting a broiler or frying chicken, we rub each part with lemon juice and dip them in an egg and milk mixture. Then roll each piece in crushed potato chips, pressing the chips firmly into each piece. When the coals are about ready, place the chicken on a folding wire and then onto the grill. Grill slowly for about 25 minutes, turning each piece so that it is fully exposed to the embers. Outdoor appetites won't last long when you serve this treat. I save a piece for myself. Aye, there's plenty more of that we'll be seeing, lad. You see, not only are chips good with food, but by themselves, they are good food. What do you think of that, lad? I was thinking, Chip, why are there so many new and different ways of using potato chips? Aye, there are many reasons for that, Pip. But one reason could be that there's a men's national cooking contest held every year, and hundreds of thousands of human folk from all over the country enter. Come on, let's look in on the finals.
This is the Potato Chip Institute International Men's National Cooking Championship. Every year, men from every part of the United States congregate to try their hand at the culinary arts. However, all the contestants have to use potato chips as one of their basic ingredients. Sound difficult? Not at all. That's one of the reasons that this contest is held year after year. Through the contest, new and ingenious ways of using chips are found. The judges are leading dietitians and newspaper food editors from across the country. If there are any outstanding recipes that deserve special recognition, these women will find them. Many unusual recipes have come from these annual contests. Recipes like this frosted chicken casserole. Potato chips were used to line the bottom of the casserole and as a crunchy topping. The filling for this treat contains cooked chicken, onion, mushroom soup, bean sprouts, cashew nuts, and halved pears. The sugar-coated grapes add just the right amount of color to give this festive dish eye appeal. Many recipes are born from sheer invention like this. Chip and chicken spaghetti loaf. Its moist and tantalizing flavor is due to a delicate blending of cooked spaghetti, American cheese, chicken of course, mushroom soup, and one cup of crushed potato chips. This loaf deserves the judges triple A rating. Some of the past prize-winning recipes have taken on an ethnic flavor. Take this teriyaki chef's casserole as an example. This gourmet delight is as exotic as its name. It contains a meatball mixture of ground beef, minced onion, eggs, sugar, soya sauce, seasonings, and crushed potato chips. The sauce itself is a delicate balance of soya sauce, beef bouillon, water chestnuts, and topped with hand-crushed potato chips. It may have an oriental flavor, but it's as American as chips themselves. The variety and scope of the entrees has proven that potato chips are as useful in main dish cooking as they are as a snack. Here's an all-beef dinner that illustrates our point. Adam's apple beef rolls. Two pounds of prime bottom round steak provide the base for this country dish. Add to that onion, celery, chopped apples, a light touch of sherry, and coarsely crushed potato chips. It's a man-sized meal with a hearty, robust flavor. These are just some of the dishes that won past recognition at the Potato Chip Institute International Men's National Cooking Championship. Perhaps you have a recipe tucked away somewhere that uses potato chips. How would a mulligan stew be with potato chips? Your mulligan stew could use potato chip magic. It doesn't hurt to try. Aye, tis a pleasure to know that the potato chip can be used in so many ways. Aye, lad. But we'd better be after looking for new ways of using potato chips. Right you are. And we hope you'll use potato chips with your next meal. Till next we meet. Ta-ta. For a full color book of prize-winning recipes starring potato chips, write Recipes, Potato Chip Institute International, Hannah Building, Cleveland, Ohio. Zip code 44115.